Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of From Scratch. Yeah. Anyway, just like in the last couple of episodes, I'm going to take one of your ideas that I have in this box, pick a random one, and try to create a track in one hour. So let's see what we get today. I'm excited. All right. <laughs> Metroid. You know what? Just give me a second. I'll be right back. So I recently got this Metroid hoodie, and I figured now would be a good opportunity to wear it for the first time. What do you think? Okay, let's get started. So I think this one's going to be a little more challenging than the Zelda Castlevania stuff because I don't have a super clear idea of how to create a Metroid sounding track. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is kind of that isolated, creepy feeling. When I take a look at the Metroid tracks that I've covered, and I've covered like seven of them on my channel, they're all pretty different from each other, you know? So this is definitely going to be challenging, but I'm going to keep in mind that isolated, creepy feeling and chords with a lot of open voicings, like fourths and fifths. I feel like that is a major component of the Metroid sound. Those kinds of chords. Maybe some bug synths <laughs> or synths that sound like weird squelchy bug noises that could work maybe some choirs as well a lot of metroid tracks have a mellotron choir kind of sound which adds to the scary feeling all right let's just get started and you know hopefully we get something that ends up sounding like metroid i'm gonna start with a drum beat because i think it'll be easier to work when I have that as a foundation. So let's go. I'm gonna open up Addictive Drums and use a preset just to save time. Let's try one of the electronic kits. I'm gonna start with this preset right here. It's called Indie Electro. Let's pick a tempo. I want this to be kind of mid-tempo, not too fast, not too slow. That's gonna be my kick and snare loop. So those are the hats, but they're a little loud. I don't like that part, just gonna change that a bit. I'm gonna add something else to it, maybe a little percussion. I know it doesn't really sound creepy right now. It sounds pretty, I don't know, like a dance track. But it's going to be all about those chords and the textures we layer on it to give it that kind of weird, creepy feeling. I didn't want it to have a groove. I didn't want it to be just like an ambient thing. Put the crash on the E of one, so one E, and a little more interesting than just having it on the downbeat, I think. So we've got this loop going. Now I'm going to start adding some extra textures to that. So I think I'm going to go to the Nord right here because it has a pretty cool Mellotron sample set. If you're unfamiliar with the Mellotron, it's actually the very first sampler, I think it is, that came out in the 60s, 1960s, and it worked with tape loops. So every note you pressed actually had a tape with a recording of that note. I don't know if you've noticed, but I was playing a bit with the pitch stick over here. Just very subtle movement adds to that kind of wobbly, creepy effect that I like a lot. I'm going to put an effect on that to widen it in the stereo field so it's really big sounding. <laughs> reverb on that. I want to try another Mellotron sample to go with it. I'm going to double it with this sound. It has like a high pitch as well in there. I 
it's kind of cool, you know. It's pretty busy sounding, but we'll try to make space for it with EQ and depending on what we add, you know, how much space we need. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to group these two choir tracks into one track. Then I'm going to duplicate my drum track, but delete everything that is not the kick and snare. You're not even going to hear that duplicated drum track. Instead, it's going to be routed to the choir and make the choir duck the volume of the choir duck every time the kick and the snare hit. And this should create some extra space. So I'm using this, this plugin called Track Spacer, and what it does, it lets me choose only a certain frequency range that'll be affected. So I'm leaving the top end, the breathy end of the choir intact. It's not being affected by these volume changes, but the mid-rangey lower end of it is, and it clears up a little space. This is without it. This is with it. And yeah, it's pretty subtle, but it does add, create some extra space for us to add more stuff. Okay, let's add some synthy weird stuff. going with that faster subdivision. I think it's pretty interesting. I'm gonna leave it there in the meantime, figure out what to do with it. Adds a bit to that kind of sci-fi feel of the Metroid tracks. So one thing I forgot to mention, like some of the Metroid tracks have that sci-fi sound to them, obviously. And also some of them sound pretty majestic, especially like the overworld themes. And I think we're kind of going more in that direction, less of the like isolated dark cave vibe and more of an overworld kind of majestic, but sci-fi vibe, if that makes sense, hopefully. I want to add a bass to this. Let's start over. I've got this highly resonant sound. I'm going to play with, play with a filter a bit and try to record. not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so added a bunch of delay and effects to that. Yeah, now that I hear it with a bass, I'm not sure about that thing we did before with all those rhythmic sounds, so I might redo that. Let's try a different approach now that we have the bass. So what do you think of my new ringtone? R2-D2. You know, the sound is it's kind of tricky. I'm not really happy with anything I've tried yet. I try something like that. Just like out of the mid-range, because the mid-range is already so busy, just everything sounds like it's just cluttering it up instead of really adding anything interesting. <laughs> So, in the end, I added this. Cat dying sound, which is kind of like a melody. <laughs> but I also added back that thing I recorded before that I wasn't too happy with. And, you know, I don't have much time, so I'm just going to go with it. All right, it's time to add some Theravox. Nothing sounds more like an alien singing than this machine right here, and I really want to use it somehow on this track.
kind of cool. Okay, let's move on. Let's add some kind of drum fill in the intro. Thinking of adding some piano, just tinkling a little with the piano. Let's see. I like the piano going on there at the end. All right, my friends, we've been working on this for an hour, and this is the Metroid style track that we've come up with. Now you'll have to tell me in the comments, does it sound like a Metroid track or not? Honestly, at this point, I don't even know. I think it sort of does, you know, at least some elements of it, but uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if you haven't seen the other episodes in the series, check out the playlist in the description or the card on top. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.